Hello, welcome to my channel. These are the characters from the 1980s cartoon Dungeons and Dragons. And I picked these up from Luba 3D on Etsy. It took me quite a while to decide what I wanted to do with these, but eventually I settled upon a diorama. These are resin 3D printers and needed a little bit of clean up. So I cut off and filed down the support material. And before I get on to painting these guys, I wanted to start work on the diorama. So I dug through my box of scrap PVC board, see what I could come up with for a base. So I decided to make something compact, but yet it still has some levels to it. Which should give me a lot of interesting ways to display each figure. So I've decided to go for some sort of underground structure. So this is going to have several paved areas, along with some sort of water structure running through the middle of it. So I've smoothed down the edges to where the water can run off. And the same go for the other side. I made sure to have lava on here instead, but haven't decided yet. And it's just a matter of building up the final layer. And this PVC cement will basically weld each piece together. Next I need to grind down the edges to make them all match. And the Dremel is very good at this, but it's also very messy. Running the sanding sponge across it afterwards will help smooth it out. And now it's time to start adding on some additional details. I cut in the concrete slab with a craft knife. And using a ruler, I basically created a grid across the whole surface. There were only a couple of areas which are less smooth. And to help make the whole diorama look aged, I added a few chips and cuts. And I tried to make these as random as possible throughout the whole setting. Plus I also added some cracks and some dents. For another piece of extra detail, I added some rubble, and these were basically scraps of PVC board glued to a corner. When you apply heat to PVC board, it will warp and expand. This increased the space between the cuts and gave me an uneven surface. And after that, I gave it a spray with some grey primer, followed by covering everything in a black wash. And this is primarily to seep into the low places and create some definition with some shadows. And I dry brushed the surface using a light grey, and this helped to dial back the black. And then I gave it an additional dry brush, but this time using pure white. And this helped me to randomise the grey tones. And at this point I had decided to paint the river in black, so this would be the base layer to the lava colours. And since I was already using black, I took the opportunity to paint the outside. And this gave me a nice neat finish to the diorama. This is normally done last, but I'm saving time here. I painted the base colour for the lava in red. And I made sure it flowed over the edge. Then I used a thinner brush to add some higher density streaks. Before moving on to a mixture of yellow and oranges to complete the look. I kept all the streaks going in the same direction to represent motion. And then I added some more black across the edges and other areas where it wouldn't flow so fast. And then to complete the look, I brushed on some gloss paint over the brighter areas. So hopefully once it's dried it should look molten. And the only way to make it look brighter is to add some light. And that's a little bit beyond my skill level. Since these figures are very tiny and very delicate, I'm going to paint them off camera. And first up is Uni, the unicorn. And I super glue her into place. And she's followed up by Bobby, the Barbarian. And he's the youngest member of the group. So it's only fair that he and Uni are side by side. And Bobby doesn't go anywhere without his sister, Sheila. And she's the thief who turns invisible when she puts up her hood. So it's only natural that she couldn't be near her brother and was quite protective of him. And next up is the Dungeon Master. He's the little guy who speaks in riddles and sends our heroes on their missions. He's not much of a fighter, so he stays at the back out of the way. Our next hero is Presto, the magician. And his magic skills aren't the most reliable. But his spells usually end up helping the team in a roundabout way. And we also have Diana, the acrobat. 
she has a magical pole which extends when she needs to use it. And with this pole she's able to leap great distances which comes in useful quite a lot. And then we have the leader of the team, Hank. He's a ranger, very much in the same vein as Robin Hood. He has a magic bow which every time he pulls it back a lightning style arrow appears and he can use this indefinitely which is very very useful. And for the last of our hero we have Eric the Cavalier and he's a little bit of a coward and always keen to run away from trouble although he does end up protecting his friends where it counts. And now we have the villain, Vengar. And he wants our hero's weapon for his own evil uses. So he has to be defeated time and time again, as he simply won't take no for an answer. So there we have our completed Dungeons and Dragons diorama. This was a bit of a passion project for me, taking me back to my youth. And I'm extremely thankful to get it made without breaking anything because resin prints at this scale are extremely thin and fragile but that's a small price to pay to maintain accurate scale. So are there any Dungeons and Dragons fans out there? And if so, why don't you let me know which is your favourite character? As for me, I think that's Presto because his magic is so unpredictable. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if I can do it, so can you.